On Christmas Eve in 1968, uh, Bill Anders looked out the window of the first manned spacecraft ever to orbit the moon and took this photograph. Anders would write later, we came all this way to explore the moon, but the most important thing is that we discovered the Earth. The same uh, awesome technological mastery that propelled Anders up to the moon was also fueling an extraordinary expansion of humanity's global ecological footprint. The same time that Anders was coming back, human activity had become the dominant force shaping our planet's biophysical conditions. We're now in a period called the Great Acceleration, where the impact of our activities across natural systems is intensifying almost exponentially. So let me show you uh, what I mean. These are graphs of human consumption over time. Fresh water or proliferation of motor vehicles or uh, production and use of synthetic fertilizers, uh, paper production, plastic production, show a pattern of extraordinary acceleration since 19. Not surprisingly, our planet's natural systems follow a similar pattern. What we see is pervasive degradation. The scale of our impacts across natural systems is really hard to overstate. Paradoxically, these deeply worrisome trends have been accompanied by steady improvements in most metrics of human health, despite steep rises in population and reduced uh, global poverty. The result have been really impressive improvements in life expectancy. This apparent ecological paradox that the state of human health and our natural systems uh, seems to be trending uh, in opposite directions. The explanation is straightforward and sobering that we've been mortgaging the health of future generations to realize economic and development gains in the present growing awareness that rapid environmental change is driving large burdens of disease today, which are likely to be even larger in the future, has given rise to the emergence of this new field of planetary health. Human population growth and consumption exceeds our planet's capacity. I think planetary health science also places us in uh, new ethical terrain. It teaches us that each one of us is connected to every other person, present and future, on the planet. Every decision that we make, what we eat, how we get around, where we go on vacation, what we purchase, whether we have a pet, even how many children we have, ultimately impacts our planet's natural systems and, as a result, the health and well-being of everybody else on the planet. The impact of each individual decision is infinitesimally small, but collectively, they are enormous. In most instances, it's the poorest people in the world with the fewest cultural and governmental and philanthropic and technological resources who experience the worst impacts of environmental change, who have the most nutritional vulnerability to rising carbon dioxide levels, and yet it's the wealthiest people that are actually responsible for most of those emissions. Quantifying the health impacts of those activities can often change the cost-benefit equation dramatically. I think we need to rethink our place in the world. I think we need to uh, reject uh, the narrative that streams into our houses every single day that we can achieve happiness by relentlessly acquiring more stuff. What actually makes us happy is time spent with the people that we love, uh, feeling connected to cherished places and communities, a sense of connection to something larger than ourselves, taking care of each other. Our planet is beautiful and unique, yes, uh, but it's also small and somewhat shockingly uh, contained. These are not images consistent with uh, limitless resources or an unlimited capacity to absorb our waste. Edgar Mitchell described the Earth rise from the moon's surface. Quote, suddenly from behind the rim of the moon, in long slow motion moments of immense majesty, there emerges a sparkling blue and white jewel 
It takes more than a moment to fully realize this is Earth, home. And our home is awe-inspiring and fragile, and that just as it nurtures us and all living things, it also requires our care. Thank you.